Can you uh, basically tell us what your key message has been for the kids here? Oh yeah, um, my biggest thing for me is being in Houston, raised, born and raised, went to HIC schools from grades one through eight. Um, a lot of times I feel like the, the thing was you either play sports or you were smart. You know, it wasn't a kind of like a blend of the two. My dad, being an educator, always told me that I couldn't do anything without my grades. And the young man that I was, I wanted to play ball, but also at the same time knew that ball was a, after like seeing some of the guys I looked up to, careers ending short, ending early or whatnot, I always saw sports as a, a means to get there, but it wasn't the ends. Like there's something that you have to do afterwards. So um, I always knew I liked math and I liked science. So I went in and I did engineering. So with that, I kind of have built a platform that I'm trying to build is basically just telling kids that it's not impossible to be able to play sports and to be in the classroom or to do arts and then be in the classroom. You have to have both. And the more that you have, the well, better well-rounded you are so that you have multiple options. Because all we want in life is options, not having to have the ability where you have to go to work, where you're able to tell somebody, I can be my own boss, I'm in a partnership with you. It's not me just going to work to work for you because that's the only way that I have to be able to live or to eat, that I have multiple avenues because I have a degree to fall back on to and I can open up so many doors with that. Okay. That's what I just, that's okay, what my message good. is. Did you get any good questions from the students? Um, yeah, I did. There's a lot of them, so I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> no, just pick one. Just pick one. Um, I think one of the things that one student asked me was what was, because I had them all, I asked them what was their favorite player. They asked me, one student asked me, um, if you could go back and do it all over again, would you? And I told him, he's like, what is the one thing that you attribute everything to, basically? So he yeah, asked, and I said, it was hard work. And um, he, he named out, I had all the students name out their favorite athletes. And or who their favorite person was in the world that they looked up to, um, that was like a superstar or, or in their eyes a celebrity. And most of them that they named were people that I've known or trained with or have interacted with. And it all just kind of goes back down to hard work, you know, just being able to somebody telling you or you having a goal in mind and just you know staying with that vision and continuously pushing towards the vision. Even though in life you're going to have things that's going to tell you that you can't do it, you know, you're going to hit a roadblock in life. But at the end of the day, a roadblock is not really a roadblock. It's just an obstacle for you to be able to grow and to be able to get better. So once you get through that obstacle, it's a, a lot better for you in the end. And you see that you've made growth because if you didn't have that roadblock, you'd be staying the same. And if you're staying the same, you're not really growing. You're really deteriorating because the world always changes.